better model who's compare uh, comedian Comi. if he wants to be because <laughs> some of his videos are very hilarious but right now he's repping the acting space uh, give it up for Toby Mackinday in the studio Toby <laughs> Toby sorry Bakery, it's a bakery. Yeah, bakery, right. exactly. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. How are you? I'm good. How was your experience first off? Being an actor and just you jumping into that entire space. Um, it's been gradual. I've been acting since 2018. Started from um, an African Magic production, mm -hmm. Hustle. Yeah. Yeah. So first time on set, definitely awkward, weird, but I got into the love of it, and I'm definitely going to be doing it for. Tell a long me time. what you hated about it the first time. It was just I, I was just nervous because every other person was kind of experienced with acting, and I was just like, man, am I doing it right? I kept asking questions like, am I doing it right? Am I doing it right? But yeah, eventually, you know, pointers from my director then. God bless her, Uche. And then over time, we got into the space of things. All right. Because uh, I was going to think that the, the, the worst part for you would be the retaking of scenes, redoing it over and well, over I, and over yeah, again. It's nah, kind of frustrating. It, it can be. It can be. But that's just part of the process, I guess. All right. So talking about being um, Eddie in the Blood Covenant. In Blood Covenant. Yeah. It, it Your was, character. Just my character. Like yeah. That. Eddie. Okay. So talking about my character is very different from my personal um, like who I am generally because a lot of times when I act I try to bring a part of Toby into the into character it, yeah. regardless but this time around it was quite different because I'm odd but Eddie was kind of you know careful you know the the fearful one the reasonable one kind of amongst all the other people I was mm. you know in the mix with without let me not give out too much so yeah so I had to like dig in deep into who Eddie particularly well, I had to create Eddie and I had to just live within Eddie, you know, all through the time we were shooting. But yeah, so Eddie's an amazing guy. I mean, people will love it. And people can relate to Eddie. Eddie is, I think, he's one of the characters everybody or majority of the people will actually be able to relate to, like your usual, normal. Day -day so you were friends. Wait, did you buff outside that you were friends to those that beat outside? You guys watch. Okay. No, oh, we don't the, see him now. We don't see Buffy now. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, I was I. Uh, you, uh, 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 <laughs> that, that scene was so weird. It was so fun to shoot. <laughs> Ew. Ew. I, I've seen the marketing man. <laughs> it was it was wild. It was wild. It, it was We're like, in an actual market. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll be feeling like I, I don't even know. I don't even want to think about what your In my own head, I'm just like the guys that actually now do these things with the mindset they're gonna make money after yeah. or so for some reason. Like how did they do it? Do it. Like having your bath on the express because somebody said you you make million millions million after. Or something. But what's your perception about? Uh, because a couple of people say that Nollywood should actually ban portraying these kinds of stories, especially when it comes to money rituals, because it gives or it, it gives ideas to people who are actually desperate for stuff like that. No, no, um, not necessarily like they push their moral values aside yeah. and say, okay, if this is happening, let me just really. But that's that's not that. true. Even prior to now, most movies that Nollywood movies have see, I have happened to see. That kind of had like um, ritual, whatever. Mm. You eventually see how it ends. It never really ends well for most of the characters. In fact, for all the characters. So um, movies reflect our society. It's not well. You have some instances where move the movie is kind of um, you know pushing new ideas into the society and whatnot. But like a lot of times, movies reflect what's happening in our society. So it's just a reflection of where you know things are getting hard times are getting hard and in every country in every space once once things are getting difficult people start to cut corners mm. and we live in a place where people believe a lot in god and at the same time people believe in the other way too mm. so you have people trying to do things to get fast money and but eventually i mean we're pushing the message that you know smart work and hard work is definitely the way to go because. and that's what's sustainable because we're all god fear i mean nigeria is a god-fearing country majority of the people here are God fearing, yeah. so we should we should actually believe in God and you know. All right, so you as a person, as Toby now, is he acting for you now, or what else are you you know trying to dabble into away from acting? Because major majority has been acting, acting also. Well, um, I, I enjoy many things. A lot of people that follow me personally understand that I I can wake up tomorrow and be something else. So I enjoy the acting space because personally, I love to see movies and I love how it all comes together. Mm. So I enjoy that process. So I'm definitely going to be doing one thing or the other in acting for a very long time. But beyond that, I enjoy hosting also. I, I'm also a painter. I'm also a photographer. You know, amongst that other painting things. That painting thing, yeah. where are you did? You've not been painting recently. Uh, no, I, I actually have. I have, but I haven't been putting out for commercial purposes because I, eventually I still want to do my exhibition and all of that. Mm. So yeah. So yeah, tomorrow it can be Toby doing some other stuff, fun or whatever, you know. 
I just like to keep it open. Mm. All right. So uh, before we wrap up, uh, still, you know, going back to the um, money-making space and the, the need to make fast money, a couple of people are still coming out to say that the industry on the other, on the in, well, in reverse, it's the industry that actually pushes it. The industry doesn't push. Like, like the lifestyle of the people in the with, industry. With, without, the things they portray, without, social media. It's not just, yeah, of course, um, at the time when there was no social media, you wouldn't, we were less pressed. Yeah. I mean, you're not, you don't have a 15-year-old com comparing the, themselves or the, to a 30-year-old or 40-year-old. You know, but social media gives everybody access to everybody's lives life. one way or the other. Either actual life or made-up life. You know, you have a 15-year-old at home already thinking, you know what, I want to be, make big millions. And, and normally, during our time, when we were 15, we were just 15, you know, play outside, go out, chill chop with your friends. You get chop smoking. You get just living basic. <laughs> but now, a lot of the kids that age are on the phone they're yeah. watching other people's lives they are aspiring you know and along the line if not properly guided if they fall into the wrong so it's not about the movie generally if not properly guided you know or and grounded in their homes i mean with moral wrong temptation values, yeah. yeah moral values they might end up you know doing something they'll eventually regret along the line but please guys um, hard work and smart work will always win and yeah. you really want to be successful and just have a open and clear heart you know so and what's it like, lastly, what's it like the most memorable uh, moment you had on set on the Blood Covenant? Most memorable moment I had on set the Blood Covenant. I can't really choose. Okay, well, the most memorable would definitely be in the, the market scene. Yeah, <laughs> so they were saying, yo. Yeah, because it was, I, I, in my <laughs> mind, like. Uzo I, was just hilarious. I'm like, we're about to ask, but are we going to, like, are we going to do this? Like, in, in my head, I knew what the day was going to bring, but if yeah. I didn't process it, like, come. You're going to be ba having a bath in the market, and you know everybody's going to be around. Like everybody's going to be there. So eventually, when goes, that's when I said, "Ah, Toby, you're an actor. You have done yeah, in this acting business for real." Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, if they want, is the movie already in cinemas? Uh, it's going to be in cinemas from 15th of April. So please watch out. Um, we're prem premiering 10th, um, and the uh, is uh, whatever you're wearing, come with a touch of red. If you're invited, please come through. And if you're not invited, from 16th, 15th, 16th. The movie's going to be out in cinemas for everybody to watch. All right. Well done, Toby. And thank, thank you for you. coming on the show. Thanks. Yes. We, we, we totally enjoyed that skit. They really, you know, it made sense. And we can't wait to watch it. For me, I can't wait to see the end of that entire effort. If it really paid out to millions, or at the end of the day, someone's there having decayed hands or... <laughs> You know, Fingers crossed. you know, <laughs> but yeah, that's that's just basically it. Um, uh, so yeah, you covered the wraps on the show. Don't forget, it was Throwback Thursday. Um, we just uh, celebrated the International Day of Reflection at the 1994 genocide of the Tutsis in Rwanda. Of course, the World Health Day with the theme our planet and <laughs> our health. Uh, please let's go do more research on that because it's really important that we keep our mental health uh, in a good space. Okay? Uh, yeah, and that's uh, on that note, we call it the wraps on the show. Please, please, please do well to go to our social media handles and find out what's going on there. Our word for the day uh, this is from Frederick von Schiller, and this is even the weak become strong when they are united. Even the weak become strong when they are united. Uh, the blood covenant. And I don't know if that was unity that they were doing in the market space. <laughs> but mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> you guys are united at the end of the day. But I think money always brings problems now. Money brings a lot of things. Like did money they, is the did root they of quarrel power. those friend that friendship. Why am I telling? Come and watch a movie. I ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> you always just feel not today. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Please save time, 11 a.m. to 12 on Silver today. I will not be here by the way because it's Fudgy Friday. I'll probably have started my weekend from today. All right? I'll see you guys. Bye, guys.